Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. 37 degrees this morning, wind chill is 28, and I learned a new word when I was checking out the weather report. Gropple. Gropple is a uh, type of soft hail, and it kind of looks like dipping Dots. So I actually wouldn't mind getting a little bit of that today. Speaking of old people, RV living with a geezer. Do me a favor, roll my intro. You know, guys, I've been all around the beach and over in the state parks looking for birds. I didn't know I just had to go to a Walgreens parking lot on a uh, five-lane business highway with a Sherman Williams paints and a Bells across the street. I wish I could identify these smaller birds because there are several different species that are coming and going. But, uh, like, you see how it just looks like overgrown, like it's not cared for? I'm thinking they're doing that intentionally because the more I read about birds, the small ones need this kind of environment to have a safe place. Guys, the Walmart is right over there. You can kind of see the parking lot right there. But there's a trail here. Runs all the way to the back of the park. pretty neat it is of course your pathway to adventure so don't forget about that but that's pretty neat little fine gazebo here they got lots of placards I think there's 12 maybe we'll read one or two so I don't bore you guys too much Pathways to History. The history of Aransas County is rich and varied from the Native Americans who enjoyed the abundant seafood and mild climate to the Spanish who valued the harbors of our bays and the homesteaders looking for new land. People have sought out the shores of Aransas and Copano Bays. And then this part says, discover the past. After being renovated, the Brule Paul Johnson House, one of Rockport's earliest homes, transformed into the History Center for Aransas County. Located in the historic Live Oak Heights area, it showcases regional history for visitors of all ages, including a rotating exhibit gallery a parlor with historical settings, a gazebo, and gardens. So, last time we checked that out, it was closed, but maybe I need to stop by there again. Step back in time. In the winter season, docets, docets, in vintage dress, lead tours through historic homes. D-O-C-E-N-T-S. Hmm. I wish I had paid attention in school instead of playing sports. This annual event, sponsored by the Friends of the History Center, features seldom seen homes in Rockport and Fulton. The tour brings to life the holidays of days gone by while recounting stories of their owners, as well as the history of the area. The tours usually coincide with the Tropical Christmas Festival, offering a crafts fair, illuminated parade, giant kite display, family entertainment, and evokes sport activities. There's always something for everyone as you travel in their footsteps along Aransas Pathways. So that's pretty neat. They got this viewing area here. Sorry about the warble. 
Let's go here. We got an old man bench. And since it's 37 degrees, not a whole lot of birds out. <laughs> I do hear some birds though. Well, that's neat. We will have to try one of the uh, other signs. Maybe come and do one a week. I find that stuff interesting. But you can't put 24 ounces of water in a 16 ounce glass and I won't retain anything. So. Maybe we need to go find the oldest house in Rockport, take a look at it, and uh, show you the outside of the History Center. Check and see if they are open when they have hours. Take a look inside, see some stuff. And this is right off the Walmart entrance, about 100 yards from where I park at night. And, uh, Right over those trees is Ace Hardware and some medical professional buildings. But it's windy, it's 37 degrees. I think the wind chill's 29 right now. Yeah. No birds, but it is pretty here and it's quiet. So it's pretty quiet. So I thought this was neat, guys. You can scan this with your smartphone and it takes you uh, right to a website um, for each placard. It has a different, you know, direct uh, link where you can get more information on uh, each subject. So there's deer over there. I didn't even notice them. Figures I get back in the truck and now, uh, they're not deer, my bad. So they have quite a few of these little signs telling you how to get to the History Center, which is neat. Never forget what George Washington once tweeted, kids. It's only treason if you lose. <laughs> Let's go to the History Center of Aransas County. We're just uh, scoping out the outside. So that was one of the earlier homes in Rockport. Refurbished. I like the little... Uh, What's that on top? Crow's Nest, Widow's Walk. I'm sure a lot of you people know the difference. Because I certainly don't. It's nicely done. Now, I'm wondering if this is the original house. Or if it's a replica. Or if it's just the same location. But uh, I think later today I'll make a phone call and check online and see if this is open for tours. I don't think it is with the COVID situation. Oh, I'll have to see if I can get a hold of a docent to give me some information. I have a new word now that I will use often. Maybe we'll get some, uh, I forget the pronunciation already, grapple later. And if a docent go outside, there'll be some, uh, there'll be a uh, docent with uh, grapple on it. Very nice details. They really fixed this up nice. This was a mess right after the hurricane. So I'm kind of curious to see what's in there. There's a lot of local art, uh, authors who uh, have put out books about Aransas County and its history. So it uh, be neat to check out. You guys let me know if that would interest you or not, getting in there and seeing some stuff. There's another uh, interesting house right around the corner from the History Center. Pretty neat looking. More of a modern house, but that uh, the front gives it a uh, 1700s look, 1800s look. Oh, I think I see more deer, guys. I think I see more deer. See them right there? Now you guys gotta keep the noise down so you don't scare them away. Try not, no sudden move, uh, sorry, more fake deer. My bad. Found another uh, Airstream, guys. This one's in uh, much better shape. 
than the last one we saw, but there is no for sale sign on it. I'm trying to find you guys a uh, Airstream. I really like the solar panels on this house right next to it. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of that here in Rockport. They even have it around the front, so that's good. Well, that wraps up today, guys. I appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching, everyone.